Um, Kathy, if I look at the stocks in the portfolio, you have quite an, it's quite a diverse range in terms of your income yields. Some of them have zero income yields, where I would imagine you're looking for price movement, and some of them have quite high divi yields. Um, so take me th through your thinking in that regard. Okay, so we really look at growth um, at a reasonable price. So we'll invest in uh, income stocks and we'll invest in growth stocks, whatever we feel um, suits the portfolio at the time. So the stocks that have, let's say, higher valuations are less likely to have higher divi yields, but there will be certain reasons why, why we go into that and probably because the growth is more attractive than, let's say, an income stock. We'll also invest in income stocks where we see the share price has been beaten down for a certain reason which we think is, is unfair or we can see um, better prospects in the future. Those often will have higher divi yields and, and that's also something we would consider in, in our in portfolio. portfolio. So we'll definitely have a, a mix within the global leaders looking at both income and value. Is it fair to say that this is quite a defensive equity portfolio, uh, equity fund? Yes, so first of all, we are investing in mega cap stocks in our global leader stocks. So we're looking at a market cap of anything between 50, yeah, from let's say 15 billion USD upwards. So a lot of these stocks you're gonna know, they're big, they're defensive, they can you know last through an economic cycle. But also second to that, we also do like sectors that are more defensive through difficult times, difficult economic times, through recessions. So we will often have quite a bit of consumer staples within our portfolios, healthcare, um, anything that really we don't feel where uh, that earnings will fall through fall through the floor should the economic um, cycle be change. Difficult. Yeah. I mean, if I look at what happened last year and I look at the way this fund moved in terms of its performance numbers, it certainly had softer drawdowns than some of the other general equity funds out there. I mean, that's fair to say, right? You would expect that's how it would move when there's risk off in the markets. Generally, the money flow gravitates towards these mega caps. So our portfolio in general um, will exhibit below average volatility, which means that in down markets, our fund should not fall as much as the general market. And that really gives you a good defensive base um, when, when there are market jitters. We are in the stocks that people will um, flock to in more difficult times. 